Oh, hey, new kid. The boys and I are in the gymnasium, okay, for some therapy exercises. Can you meet us there, okay? Hey, new kid. Okay, apparently we're having a little quarrel, okay? Craig and Tweak have agreed to some counseling as long as you're present, new kid, okay? So, uh, now, Craig, what do you, what do you want to say to Tweak? I think he has some stuff he should say to me. Okay, okay, Tweak, you want to start, maybe? I have nothing to say if that's his attitude. Okay, okay, well, maybe, uh, new kid, maybe you should share some of your thoughts. Okay, well, this isn't really going that well. Um, okay, boys, I want to do an exercise with you. Uh, I have some kids here to help us out. When we're trying to have some therapy, the first thing we need to do is is take out our resentments, okay? So, uh, let, let's have our resentments come out. Come on out over, come over, resentments. Okay, and then in any relationship, we also have expectations, okay? Because expectations lead to resentments, which, of course, brings about accusations. Come on out, accusations, okay? And then that all, of course, leads to victimization and withdrawal. Now, you've got to learn to overcome all of these things, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go fuck them up! There they are, right there, Tweak and Craig. Yo, go beat the shit out of them! You too, new kid! Let's dance. I mean, not literally, because I don't dance. Let let's punch. Go nuts, new kid! Get that little bastard! Somebody wake me when it's my turn. Ha! Ah, a storm front is brewing! Thunderbolt and lightning! Feels good, right? Sure does! How can you be so deaf? Microaggression! Hit him! Gah. Get some revenge on that shit, oh yeah. Expectations doesn't go down that easy. There's always more expectations. Oh, oh God, God! You boys have to work together if you're gonna eliminate all of those expectations, okay? Tweak, he's right. Huh? We're only going to get rid of these expectations and everything else if we do it together. Craig! Yeah! Let's do it, Craig! Craig, it's my turn! I'm still here. Give me your power to me. Oh, let's go together. Let's go together. Let's go together. Let's go together. That, that was beautiful, boys. Now fuck the rest of them up, okay? Oh, another bitch move from withdrawal coming right up. And how do you respond to withdrawal when he's clearly emotionally unavailable? I was gonna hit him. Listen to your instincts on this one, okay? You like that withdrawal? You gonna cry now? Nowhere to run, withdrawal, you bitch! Here we go with the resentments again! Oh shit, more resentments! You just gotta let them go, okay? I call upon my storms to punish you! Oh, how does that make you feel, resentment, huh? Burr. Resentment's gonna lash out! <laughs> this isn't fun anymore! Yeah, fuck you, resentment, too, guy! Alright, ready to make some weather?
don't you feel better? Yeah, I kind of do. Me too. Okay, well, just come back anytime you need counseling, okay? That's, uh, that's it. Thanks for all your help, new kid. Yeah, fuck you, expectations. Thanks, new kid. We have a lot of work to do, but I think we both want to do it now. Come on, Craig. I'll get you your laptop. It's our laptop, Tweak. All right, the new kid's here. Come on, new kid. Can I help you? Yeah, hi. We signed up for the tour. Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree, we're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. All right, just wait six hours and we're good to go. How long now? Still about six hours. Okay, cool. This sure is gonna be exciting in six hours. Shut up, Scott. Did anybody bring any uh, snacks or anything? Yeah, we should have brought snacks. Oh, God, okay, how long now? Right around six hours still. Jesus, fuck. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time-bending ass. 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 Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. Please. Quickly. You see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you. Over by the gate. On the left side. Can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. 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 Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fart in the fan. Come on. I'll fire it up for you right now. Oh, some young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Come on! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four ass gorilla feeding. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. 
Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. Problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pals? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on, talk. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, Kieran. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pals. My poor creatures. We must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Hmm, it's gonna take a scientific approach to solve this one. Go, oh, Jesus! I know one of these buttons opens the door. The mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> School so dumb! Parents are dumb! Yeah, don't you stupid! It's okay. We'll be safe in the tour tram. Oh, the tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it. Not it. Not, not, it. It. not, not it. it. Not it. <laughs> not it. Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Arr, school is dumb. Ah, sixth grader! You need. 
Now you can access the stairs. Get down to the third level. Okay, you should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Yeah! <laughs> oh, look at the little fourthy! Come here, dork! Hey, Jasper! Get over here, dude. There's a picture of some boobs, man. Boobs? I want to see some boobs. Where? <laughs> School is for single-ass homo. Hey, get that single-ass boy. Okay, let's pick some asses. Mutant test subject, assault imminent. That's it, he's cleared the way. The CPU should be right through that door, kid. We'll come down and join you. New kid, thank God. You've got to stop him, he's out of his mind. Cartman, you fucking asshole, what are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch. Uh, you shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of... Uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I joined the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into a genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! <laughs> it's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor! Oh no? I've got all the new kid's followers. Every last one of them is now following me! Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, 
I've got an election to win. Nah, nah, nah. God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop wasting time. You're gonna turn that tour tram back on, right? It's okay, Mosquito. We're not going to die in here. We will survive. <laughs> Toolshed, always right for the job. Ugh. We did it. Little guy. And there we go. Looks like you've run into mutant sixth graders. Oh, and they look hungry. Don't get eaten. Be careful of the grates. I've designed them to be removable in case anything wanted to attack people from below. to cut off your father's head to scan his DNA. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you have to finish the job. The only way out of here is to kill Daddy. I heard that! What the hell is wrong with you? Can I have a conversation with our child without being criticized? Oh, you're the victim again, huh? Like you don't deconstruct everything I say. Okay, Mr. Never Wrong in his life. Go, go do it, sweetie. Go cut off Daddy's head. Hurry!
What'd she say? Did she say how nothing is her fault like usual? I knew something like this would happen, and it's why I've told your mother to keep her fucking mouth shut! Fuck you! I told you if our child's powers were discovered, they'd try to harvest our DNA and make a genetic clone! You did fucking not! Listen, kiddo. The CPU is waiting for either of our DNA. Just trick your mom into walking over to it. Don't make our child choose sides! That's so unfair! I'm trapped inside of a tube thingy! My legs are broken and my arm is almost ripped off! I could bleed to death if I moved! Oh, you hear that? Go get mommy's arm. That should do it. already. Right thing, sweetheart. Now get out of here and go get mommy's proud of you. Organic DNA sample accepted. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. Ah! You shut up, King. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What, what have, have you done, done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, Keen? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? Okay, cousin, we'll give you help. No, 
know because I think the cellular restructuring has affected my brain and I have to attack you all or get a migraine. Prepare for battle, weaklings! <laughs> Calm down, cousin. It's gonna be okay. Sorry, Kyle, but I'm filled with mutant rage and I have to destroy you guys. Wait, wait. Hold everything. I is there a problem, Doctor? Ooh, okay. I just wish to observe a genetically augmented superhero squashing his tiny foes into a viscous red pace. Pretend I'm not here. Ash, victoriously! One last far too, kid! Tell you gotta give it everything you got! Amazing. All this time I thought more asses were better than one. But it's what's inside the ass that counts. Oh! Oh, I think I got a pulled muscle! I don't think I should play anymore! It... It... New Kid, are you okay? That last fart might have killed him! That was pretty amazing, dude. I've never heard anyone rip one like that. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed the tour. Maybe now you have a new appreciation for what genetic engineering has to offer. You're now all free to exit right through the gift shop. Gift shop? Feel free to look around before enjoying the rest of your day. Perhaps you'd like to buy a I Survived Genetic Mutants t-shirt or purchase a photo of you enjoying the tour. Lots of great things to remember your visit. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was bullshit. All right, we gotta go tell on Cartman. Uh, who do we tell? I don't know, what time is it? It's... Oh, shit! Oh, no! What is it, Mysterion? Dude, the new kid farted so big, he made it next week! What? Check your phones! It's ten days later! Oh, great! The new kid farted us to next week! Damn it! He screwed us! Way to go, new kid! Cartman's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault! Come on, Freedom Pals, we have to stop him! Let's go shopping for fuzzy boots after we exact revenge. All right, the new kid's here. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. How do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He farted us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? So you're ready to eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme? Now you must fart back in time to before Mitch Connor was sworn into office. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself.
Christmas. Happy holidays, yo! Yeah, it's Christmas again. Let's get fucked up. What the fuck? We're too late. The new kid sent us forward in time. To when Cartman is already mayor. You have to take us back, new kid. Back to before this all happened. It isn't working. I think maybe the new kid has a fractured butthole. Fractured butthole? That's ridiculous. Tool shed is right. We have to get the kid to a doctor fast. Be careful, new kid. South Park is a really scary place on Christmas. Oh, hey, boys. Merry Christmas. I'm so fucked up. I feel like it's been Christmas for a year. What'd they put in these drinks? Mr. Mackey, there's cheese in your alcohol. You have to stop drinking. No, oh, but it's the holidays, boys. You guys know the wrong with a little drink on the... Oh, God, it's them again! Now, don't be scared, y'all. We're simply here to celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody! Hey, look! It's the vigilante the mayor told us about! If we murder him, we get a prize! Yay! 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 Today is the last day of the rest of your life. My Christmas gift to you. Hail Satan! Nothing finer than Hellfire! Dude, these critters are impossible to beat! They're gonna kill us! It's over, man! Wait a minute. It's Christmas. I know who can help. New Kid, you have to pray to Christ. Yes, yes, of course. New Kid, you have to put your faith in Christ. Do you understand? Pray to Jesus, New Kid. It's our only hope. Santa down from the sky. You killed my reindeer. Ho, 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 yeah. Hey, look, it's Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Well, now maybe we can eat his flesh. Hail Satan. Oh, you little fuck critters again, huh? Santa's gonna kick the shit out of you. Well, shucks, we weren't expecting Santa to show up. Whatever will we do? We're in a bit of a bind, Rabbity. Don't be sad, Barry. Shucks, I can just sacrifice myself. Hooray! Santa's about to go to town on your ass. Thanks for your help, Santa. You're welcome, kids. Now what the fuck is this all about? We're sorry, but we're trying to go back in time, but the new kid has a fractured butthole, so we're trying to get him to the abortion clinic. Oh, I see. All right, you kids get his ass fixed. Santa will hold off these drunken fuckwads. Get moving to the abortion clinic. We got a lot of abortions today. It's Christmas. We need a doctor to look at our friend's asshole. Let me guess, who's got a big crack down the middle? Ha ha. No! Please, you have to listen. None of this is supposed to happen. The mayor has to be stopped. We know how to do it. The mayor? That scumbag made the town the shithole it is today. We can put a stop to it. Please, just look at our friend's ass. 
Yeah, it's fractured, all right. Can you fix it? Well, I've put a splint on it and a little sling to take the pressure off the sphincter. Try it, kid. Try to take us back. You got this, butthole. Holy shit, dude! You can do it, you kid. Your friends are at the door, and they want you to come out and play. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off! It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit! Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> the heathens are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come fight, my liege. You're our only hope. Who's that? Hey, we're not playing superheroes, dumbass. Come on, new kid. Shine a real good, king. Get out of the way, you guys. We've got to stop Cartman before he starts all this. What are you kids doing? We stopped playing superheroes like five days ago. Yeah, get lost, juice bags. This isn't a trick, it's me, Craig. Fuck you, dude, I'm Craig. We don't have time for this. Stand aside, we have to get to Cartman. Well, you just have to get past us and our king. Our king won't let you pass. Go, king, go. Go, butthole. Whoa, hamburgers, come back, king. The king's strongest warrior can handle these weirdos. For the king! For the king! All hail the king! I'll take you on. Me? I got your back, man. These primitives have no chance against our future tech. This is a job for the king's cunning rogue. You're not gonna last long fighting all of us yourself, past self. I wouldn't be so foolish, stupid Craig. Bunshin no jutsu. Are you serious? That's so fucking lame. Ugh, guess I gotta take this asshole on. I got your back, Craig. Okay, I I'll be the third wheel. My turn. Oh, shit. You fought valiantly, Ron. I'll avenge you! Guards of the Dark Court, assist me in defeating these assholes! Rawr, for the king! Yes, for the king! You're a formidable foe, past me, but I'll defeat you! Even with your guards, you're no match for us! Wow, past Kyle had such a cool costume! What happened? Hey! Long live King Deucebag! My king, I failed you. Oh, jeez. Don't worry, I got this. We will fight by your side, my liege. Oh, hey. Ah. We're back. You kneel before the king, future new kid. Oh, you cannot cross here. This is all lava. We don't have time for this shit. Oh my god, how'd he do that? Are you joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi kids, I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys, I was just traveling back in time to find you. A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass. Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals. We're all Freedom Pals. We're from the future, you fat turd. No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to Stick of Truth times to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore. We know everything. Show us your left hand. My left hand? For what? Show us your fucking left hand! Heh. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pass. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch? Connor. 
What the hell are you doing here? I had a plan to use the new kid as means to get what I always wanted. But it looks like some do-gooders traveled back in time to stop me. Cartman, I swear to God, if you don't knock it off, I'm- But that's okay, because I still know something you all don't. What's that? How to make someone fart super bad by hitting them in the solar plexus. Yeah! Connor, no! Where are we now, Connor? We're in the time that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. You walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Don't go, new kid. You can't change the past. Of course you can. Go look. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self, so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door? Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with, the, like, a zillion followers, right? We just thought... Well, we thought that if you could add us, and maybe... You know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh boy, oh boy! Our moment! Our moment is finally here! Wow! It's happening! <laughs> we did it, everyone! I, I'm so happy! Oh, hey, kiddo! Everything alright? Go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another team, team, team! Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God. I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities. Powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day I created a Facebook profile, and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love. Inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes. By day, they ran experiments. And by night, we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's? You received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape. Because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god. I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey. I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh, God, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too?
We're back in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? Alright, let's get this thing started! Look, Butt-Lord! Today is a great day for South Park! This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor! It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls to finally turn shit around! You did it, Butler. It's Inauguration Day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Let's do this! This way! Come on! We can still stop this fucker! There he is! Guys? Y y you're alive? Oh, thank God! <laughs> Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens. That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Coon? Shoes on the other hand? Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Coon? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the Coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me or the king? <laughs> Knock it off, Kyle. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Fuck you, Cal! Coming at you, Coon. Cal, you son of a bitch! Uh, God, God damn you guys. This isn't fair! I'll say. Well, 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 good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, God fucking damn it. You think you can just come in here and make your own rules, imposter? Will you stop messing around, Kyle? Uh, just put your hand down. You can't defeat the real Mitch Connor. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Let's dance, faker. Punch me for great justice. We won! <laughs> It'll take more than that, Freedom Paz. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them! Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait! This one's all me! Drop it, Kyle! You fucking drop it, fat ass! Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us! Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he! Fine! Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first! All right, fine! We'll both admit it. At the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say, I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor.
Go on, hurry. Swear me in. All right. Uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait! Wait, stop! No! What's going on here? Just finish the ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and Friends franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the Coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole! Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. What? Look! Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right! You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh! I want to hear this! My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Whoa! What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, Coon! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this! Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when you snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! I'll kill you, you kill me! I'll kill you, Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Let's yeah! Go! <laughs> you're the tickle bunny. No, you're the tickle bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. In fact, kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, new kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always have fucked your mom. <laughs> Thank you.